Just checked out of the hotel here in Osaka to head to Kyoto. I've been there before, it was awesome. Can't wait to have another awesome time. I feel like I could have spent uh, more days here, in fact. I think there's so much more to explore, uh, especially if I was willing to, you know, venture out a little bit further. <laughs> but what I saw was great and um, a little bit sad to say goodbye. So after checking in, we felt a little peckish, so we went on a hunt for food. But what we found on the way was a place called Comic Shock, a store filled with comics, retro and current, video games, DVDs, books, magazines, all types of uh, figurines and posters and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, a lot of which uh, Josh was able to recognize, not very many that I was able to recognize, until I saw uh, one of my favorite pro wrestlers on the front of a magazine. And after this brief stop, we ended up back on our hunt for food. We remembered back when we were at Kyoto Station that there was this mall across the road called Avanti, and inside Avanti, our food hunt had ended. After lunch we decided that we wanted to explore the area so we wandered outside and we saw a whole bunch of people wearing uh, traditional Japanese festival attire heading in a particular direction so out of curiosity we decided to follow them and they brought us here Fushimi Naritaisha Otabisho Not to be confused for Fushimi Naritaisha, the world-renowned Shinto shrine and is famous for the 10,000 Tori gates, no. This place is a little more quaint. In saying that though, there were many people here on this day, already 12 days into a 15-day celebration of the Inari festival, dedicated to Inari, the Shinto deity of rice, fertility, and prosperity. The elaborately decorated Mikoshi, or portable shrines are a central focus of the festival. They're carried through the streets by participants in a lively procession and this act of carrying the Mikoshi symbolizes the transferring of the spirit and energy of the deity to the community and its people. The energy of the participants and the rhythmic chants created a hell of a contagious sense of celebration. You couldn't help but be swept up in the atmosphere. We stayed at the shrine until it was time for dinner, in which case we explored the area further and found this place, Moss Burger, second biggest fast food restaurant chain in Japan. Uh, delicious burgers, I'd been there 19 years ago and it was great to revisit again. I'm pissed. So that was the site of a talk show that my absolute number one favorite professional wrestler of all time uh, held today at three o'clock. Uh, were we here at three o'clock? No, we weren't. No. Uh, we were down the road, literally. <sighs> he was right there. Shit. 